We are back now with a story that has dominated so many of the headlines today. Actor Alec Baldwin firing a prop gun on a movie set in New Mexico that killed a cinematographer, Helena Hutchins, and injured director Joel Souza. Baldwin addressed it for the first time today on Twitter. He said that there are no words to convey his shock and sadness over Hutchins' death, and he said he is fully cooperating with the police investigation that is now underway. Now, we know Buffalo is a city with a growing filmmaking scene, meaning on-set safety is an important topic here like everywhere else. So we reached out to Buffalo Niagara Film Commissioner Tim Clark to get an idea of just how these prop weapons are supposed to be handled. And of course, we talked about this in a general sense since nobody knows the specifics of what happened in New Mexico. Usually on a movie set, there's a, a position called an armorist and uh, if there's gunfire or gunplay in this uh, in a movie and so an armorist is there as well as safety people stunt coordinators and then um, we will often ask the local police department to as the last uh, uh, you know uh, sort of uh, condition is to inspect the weapons themselves so we feel that it's safe. And Tim Clark points out that director Joel Souza, who was injured, has been here in Buffalo before directing a movie that also used a lot of prop weapons. This is a look at the filming of that movie. It was called Crown Vic. They shot it here in 2018. Clark says Souza, the director, who you can see right there, was very safe when he was here in how he handled things on set. He was really, really safety conscious here. Uh, they hired a, a consultant a uh, former Buffalo police uh, official who, uh, you know, really provided good insight into uh, how police officers would react with a gun and so forth, but also taking a good look at the firearms and so forth. So uh, he was extremely safety conscious and um, I was really surprised to, to, to hear that it was him on the set, but you know, who knows what happened there. And Tim says he wouldn't be surprised if there's a re-examination now of the safety rules regarding prop weapons on set after this tragedy. He also says that there is kind of a trend in the film industry right now toward gunshots being added in post-production because it's safer than using realistic prop guns. I mean, that really just kind of makes sense. If you can do it in post, um, why not? Yeah, another step forward to make it a little bit safer. Yeah, we'll see how it changes. Still